Let's look at the politics of it. You say that an independent Scotland would be a beacon of progressiveness. Mm -hmm. Implicit in that assumption, is it not, is the belief that only Robert Mugabe can rule Scotland. No, that's not the assumption. But you still want it. Uh, you know, independent how Scotland. would an independent Scotland be different? Zimbabwe <laughs> to be broke, of course. Uh, independent Scotland would be the sixth most prosperous country mm. per head in the OECD. Exactly uh, so. what President Ahmadinejad wants. <laughs> He's won today. I, I don't. I don't think, Jeremy. You've got Will you be program. paying the license you've fee? Paid, well, watch it the same basis as you, the Irish public. The Irish, they don't. Uh, well, pay. I can't believe you said that. Do you think this is some sort of series? charity? I, I, I'm sure that uh, in the BBC, charity begins at home, Jeremy. We've got a trillion pounds worth of public debt in this country. We seem to have made such a bollocks of the United Kingdom. I think that's a, a reasonable basis to start to be an independent country. I'm just off. <laughs> Why was he laughing? Alex Salmon, how would an independent Scotland be different? Well, uh, you know, independent Scotland would present £150 billion pound to Robert Mugabe. Robert Mugabe. Mm -hmm. Including the, the, the range of assets that Scotland has in terms of oil and gas resources in the North Sea. We'll have a licence fee to set up a, a, a Scottish nuclear train to Zimbabwe. No. What's there going to be, some sort of armoured train or something? Mm -hmm. Zimbabwe. Mm -hmm. There are some at the present moment. There would be a lot more if Scotland were independent.